I'm the shit flick critic. G'day everyone and welcome to the Shit Flick Quickie. Before I get started, just a helpful reminder for everyone to please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button. And now with that out of the way, let's jump into it. Today I'll be reviewing a web series that I stumbled upon called The Psychopaths. And rather give it a synopsis, I'll just read their own introduction in my best movie trailer voice. Grammar errors and all. Once upon a time, there was two boys. They got bullied all the way through their school life, and when they went to college, that all stopped. But one guy continued to bully them, but what he didn't know is that the boys had changed. They had secretly learned to stick up for themselves and protect themselves against anybody, and this is what happened next. I came across The Psychopaths after watching Kay's Kitchen, a cooking series produced by Big Lee's mother that contains some of the worst cooking I've ever seen in my life and is worthy of an entire different episode at another time. Her son, who she forces to ingest her horrific culinary tragedies at the end of each episode, has his very own vlog style channel on YouTube that is so boring that I kind of got addicted to watching it to see all the uninteresting things he was going to do next. Right guys, just in pits at home at the moment. Um, well yeah, it's mostly one of the more reasons why we came out today to go to pits at home. Get some dog food for Curly and mostly it, so yeah. It's more or less just a shot for Curly, that's more or less what we've come out for. Lee also has two other channels, Lee's Gaming, which is exactly what it sounds like, and Lee's Singing. Now, I was extremely tempted to upload a video and lambast Lee's Singing, but I stopped myself as it kind of just feels like shooting fish in a barrel with a minigun. Yes, it isn't great. Yes, it's extremely amateurish, and yes, it's not in key. But I believe vehemently that everyone has the right to express themselves in whatever medium they wish without judgment. Instead, I've just provided a link in the description so you can see for yourself. Are you seen me for it was then that I discovered the channel SC World of Entertainment, SC standing for Sheffield Crew, and indeed one of the most noticeable features in all their videos is their very thick, broad Yorkshire accents. Hey up boys! Gone. I don't fucking know, but literally we are making them pay for what they've done to us. Yeah, I thought we were on their trail. Well we were, but we don't know how, how long we've been knocked out, do we? Winter is coming! The first thing I noticed about everyone in the Psychopaths is that they're all a little bit off, and I don't think it's a huge leap of imagination to deduce that everyone here is on the spectrum or has some form of learning disability. The major plot of the Psychopaths is that the antagonists are bullies that they had at high school, which saddens me as it means that they're all most likely actually bullied at high school, and this series plays as a kind of fantasy about how they wish their high school years had have been. A good portion of each episode is mainly just people talking on mobile phones about meeting up with someone, meeting with said person to discuss meeting up with other people, and then taking more phone calls to discuss meeting up with more people. Most episodes culminate in a fight scene, which plays out a lot like a bunch of kids pretending to fight on a playground, not helped by the fact that all the actors always laugh and giggle their way through all the most dramatic scenes. Another huge amount of screen time is devoted to the obnoxious titles that play every episode that sometimes stretch out to a quarter of the total runtime. They always feature a series of After Effects templates and take a great time to say the name of the episode, who made the episode, and who acts in the episode, gamer tags and all. Another graphic that is used a lot in the Psychopaths is the very, very unnecessary title cards that show the most insignificant passage of time that ranges anywhere from two minutes to two months. And they happen a lot. The first title card we see says two weeks later without actually telling us what was supposed to have happened two weeks prior. Just a tip, gentlemen, you can also show a passage of time with a simple dip to black. The audience will get the idea and it's not half as noticeable. As far as the acting goes, it's unsurprisingly very amateurish and features a lot of rookie errors like smiling and laughing in serious scenes, looking at the camera and stumbling through lines. About this here. It's time we make people pay for what the shit they've done for us. Fucking do it! I said don't turn, don't come back! I will say that Kieran is probably the best actor of them all and has some very strong moments. It's just a shame that he's always delivering his most serious lines to someone who's just smiling back at him. Don't tell me what to do. When I see we're fucking taking over this town, I fucking mean it! Wipe that disgusting grin off your face! The real Oscar goes to this girl doing the interview who has to pretend to be interested in their answers. What about YouTube in a spare time? And if we're not thinking about SC, we're just focusing on our own channels. Yeah. Okay. Right then. And despite how bad the Psychopaths is, there are some very, very interesting camera angles and movements, which shows that there is a lot of potential for growth and development if they just started taking it a bit more seriously. 
I was shocked to learn that Big Lee had left SC World of Entertainment due to issues with butting heads with other members over creative control, and now I understand how people must have felt when Paul McCartney left the Beatles. It would seem that they have put aside their differences and made some more episodes, but due to corona they have to film them all separately in their respective houses and tape it all together after. But the one thing I like the most about the Psychopaths is when you watch their hours of blooper reels, they all seem to be having a blast making this series. And what could be more enjoyable than watching a group of friends having a great time with one another? So thus concludes my shit flick quickie. Thank you very much for watching. I will include the relevant links in the description and I'll see you in the next review.